Right, hello, my name is Jason, and this is my story. So I was raised going to church, um, I was, and I was the pious one of my siblings. I, was, I really wanted to do what was right ever since I was a kid. My older brother was the rebellious one. My younger sister was kind of the quiet, talented type. Um, but I was the one who wanted, wanted to do what was right. But I had a, a problem growing up, a problem that would keep me from doing what is right, and that I was so very self-centered. I wanted desperately to be liked. I wanted to be cool. And I was really bad at being cool. I, I struggled a lot with that. I, every, sum, every summer, you know, the school year ends, and I just think, like, how can I reinvent myself so that I'm actually cool this year, so I can get the attention of the ladies and get the uh, admiration of the dudes? Or every class would end, and I would go back and think, how can I be less uh, awkward? How can I be? Um, le- how can I create? Stop creating embarrassing situations. And just my anxiety would just go back over and over and over things. And well, with my failure at being cool, it kind of just led me to anger. Um, so I, I went down the road of I'm going to just listen to really angry music all, all the time, just kind of a cigarette for the soul. Um, I'm going to wear black and um, write all over my hands so that people would think I'm a freak or something. And, and that's, that's where it took me into a really just dark place, that, that great insecurity and great pride and wanting all that attention but failing to get it. Um, it just brought me really low into depression. And so uh, what happened for me, I'm about 13, 14. Um, I'm ha- I was hanging out with a buddy of mine, just sinning. And uh, he just kind of had an offhanded comment, like, oh, man, this is totally against the Bible. Well, I'm, I'm supposed to be, I'm the pious one, right? I'm the, I'm the one who, who wants to, to try to be good. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to read the word. I'm going to try to read the Bible. And so my mom gave me this fat, green, New Living Translation so it was easy to read with all these study notes. And so I'd sit down at my desk and read the New Testament. And man, uh, God just was very present in those times, kind of blew my mind. Uh, just seeing clearly his, his righteousness, his goodness, his glory, and seeing myself as, as I am, sinful and messed up. Um, and then more than that, seeing, the, even though I'm sinful and messed up, uh, seeing Jesus Christ love me, seeing him die for me on the cross to want to be present with me, Man, I was, I was in. So I gave my life to God. Uh, and it's not, it's not always easy. It's seldom easy, right? Um, and often I have to remind myself to, to, to turn to prayer instead of turning to pride, to be God-centered instead of being self-centered. That's, that's always a struggle. But man, it is so much better to put your life ab- about God, to be... Uh, to, to get your joy from God, from, get your hope from God. He is constant and just so amazing. God is amazing. Uh, so so I, I love it, man. I love Jesus now. And um, just two quick things. Um, if you're a Christian, just, just notice uh, my parents, you know, throughout this whole time, they just sent me to church, sent me to youth group, um, all that kind of thing. It's, it's just like putting kindling around you. Uh, and just in the hopes that God will do something, right? And so that's what we can do. We can just invite people to church. We can invite people to Bible studies. We can invite people just to have fellowship with us so that God might work. So there's that. And if, and if you're not a Christian, th- this is all I got. Like, I just, I just took the book, started reading and talking to God, and he just completely changed my life, completely changed my life. I love God, and I love being in a, just not as self-obsessed anymore. And so I I encourage you to do the same. So thank you for listening to my story.